Welcome Duck fans, my name is Rob Kulish, I'm joined by Evan Wilson, a senior member of uh, the Stevens men's swimming team, um, three-time NCAA qualifier, uh, uh, All-American, uh, Empire Swimmer of the Year, you know, we could go on and on, and hopefully get to talk about that in a little bit. Evan, thanks for joining us um, and spending some time. Um, you guys have just started the season, uh, um, a convincing dual meet win over Montclair State, and then, you know, kind of a really dominating performance at the NYU Fall Invitational. Um, it was a real exciting meet. It was good to see everyone get up and swim very well this early in the season, especially at the NYU Invitational. Uh, well, you know, I guess it's tough sometimes in swimming, but as a team, this year, I guess, assess your start to the season, maybe compared to other years in the past. It's been fantastic. I mean, after our dual meet with Montclair, I was named NCAA uh, Division Three Swimmer of the Week. I had some really good swims as a team. We had some very good swims. At the NYU Invitational, I think pretty much everyone was having excellent swims. There was really no one falling behind. John Hu made his NCAA B cut in our second meet of the season. It wasn't just a B cut either. It was a 400 IM with a 401, which is six seconds under the B cut. He's probably already Qual made a, a selection time for NCAAs. That was a fantastic swim. Um, for those for those of you who don't understand, uh, there's two cuts: an NCAA cut, which would guarantee you go to the um, NCAAs, and then an NCAA B cut. That, um, John happened to hit a, a very good B cut and almost guaranteed himself a trip. And as Evan said, doing that so early in the season uh, is just remarkable. Um, and a little bit more focus on you. You know, Division three swimmer of the week. That is on the national level, um, decided by media members and, and other people um, for involved in swimming on collegeswimming.com. I guess, can you take, kind of take us back to the Montclair meet? What, what I guess, went well or, you know, talk about those swims that, that netted you that honor. Well, I had two individual swims, the 200 Butterfly and the 200 IM, both of which felt very good. The 200 Fly, especially so early in the season, is a, it's a pretty brutal event. You need a lot of base for it, but, um, I felt good. I went to 158. I'm not gonna remember the, the hundreds, but it was 158 mid, which is only about four seconds off my personal best time. And, uh, I felt really good. I won both events. I think at the time that 200 butterfly was second or third. It was, it was one of the fastest times swimming in Division Three swimming the year so far. I believe at the time it was the second fastest, was. Um, which is remarkable. Um, and kind of for, a, for somebody like you, you know, watching you over the past three years. It really seems that you're able to, I don't know the right wording for it, but you're really able to, to take yourself up slowly, 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 and then you peak at, at, at just you know, the most opportune times for yourself as an individual and then for as a team, um, whether that's at the Empire uh, Championships or on the national level. Can you kind of talk about that a little bit? And you know, most other sports, you want to be good all the time and win as many um, games, matches, whatever uh, as possible. In swimming, you kind of have to... That's, that's really kind of impossible to do in swimming. Very, you know, almost almost no one can be at their best the entire season because the way we train, you need to be broken down physically in the middle of the season to have enough aerobic base to swim your best times at the end of the season. Swimmers pretty much all taper for the last week, maybe two weeks, depends on, on how your program works before the championship meet. And that's really one of the most... Uh, difficult and important skills is to taper yourself correctly, make sure you get plenty of sleep, the right things to eat, so that you can swim your best at your championship season end meet. And that's fortunately someone something I've I've always been pretty good at. It's just um, it's almost it's a tough thing to do for a lot of people. Yeah, it, it's hard to almost you know uh, comprehend that for me and probably many others, but it's it's very interesting um, to look at it that way. You know, you're a senior and you've had success, you know, big time success your whole career. Um, but now, you know, now being a veteran, someone who's been there before, are there fundamental differences now being a senior on the squad? Do you feel almost like a leadership role? Um, you know, kind of talk about that a little bit because there, it is overall a very young group, a young team. So, you know, take that, you know, how do you lead them? Since our team's been getting significantly bigger every year, every year it's been very weighted towards the, the underclasses. And it really, it really does feel different this year. As a, as a senior, it, it, I don't know, it feels more like 
my team, I feel like I've got some sense of, of leadership. I'm not one of the team captains. The, the men's team captains are Matthew Preeti and, and Dan Pecoraro, the other two seniors, so out of the three of us, they're the two captains. But uh, yeah, it feels, it feels different this year. It's pretty exciting. I'm excited for my last year. I want to do well. There are a couple of, of events I want to get, get some good swims in. The, the 200 breasts in particular. I got the team record in the 200 breaststroke, but it was, um, I swam that as a 208 my freshman year here. And I haven't, I haven't trained breaststroke specifically really any of my years. I've been training for the mile and the 400 island, which are obviously my best events. But I would really like to rough time in that. It's, it's not even actually my best time. I went faster than that my senior year of high school. Oh. Um, like Evan holds uh, Steven's records in the 500 freestyle, the 1,000 freestyle, the 650 freestyle, the mile swim, um, the, the 200 breaststroke, and the 400 yard individual me medley. Um, those are just individual records. Um, and then you also were a part of a couple record breaking relays. Um, I guess, you know, this year you, you kind of hit on your, the individual goals a little bit and then. You know, if you want to expand on those a little bit more, and then also the team goals. The team won the Empire Eights for the first time last year. Um, you know, finished ridiculously high in the country, I believe, seventeenth. Um, do you have only three men? Do you have quantifiable, I guess, goals that you say I want to do this, this, and this, or is it a little Absolutely. more abstract? Yeah, I mean, last year the the men's team won Empire Eights for the first time. That was our only sec only our second time in the the conference. But the year before that, we we weren't really all that close to winning. Felt like we had a chance next year, but we got a lot stronger and we won, even without a diving team, which is remarkable. This is quite hard to do. You get a lot of points in diving, so we get set back a few hundred points just at the beginning of the meet because we don't have divers. The women did very well. They didn't win Empire Ace, but they did very well. It'd be great to see the women's team win Empire Ace this year. Last year, the women's team took second at the NYU Invitational. This year, they won it, so they're improving too. It'd be really great to see them there. Uh, last year we, we placed 17th at Nationals on the men's team, and that was with just three men swimming individual events. No relays. No relays. It would be fantastic to get relays. We've been trying to get relays for the last, you know, three years, and we've been, we've been close. Every year I felt like we had a chance. We just need to get that one swim where everyone is swimming well to get some relays to Nationals. We get a ton more points then. People who don't even qualify individually, if they qualify on a relay and they've got either a B cut or a, a, I think there's a bonus swim cut, we'll get to swim individual events and have more opportunities to place and score points. The, the women placed 12th last year and they had relays. They had a lot more swims than the guys did. Uh, the women have placed 11th uh, two years ago and then 12th, two top 15 finishes, uh, now two top 20 teams. Um, the last thing I kind of want you to talk about a little bit is um, you guys spent a ton of time in the pool, um, and then you yourself, you're you know, a COSIDA ESPN um, academic all district, I think two years ago. Um, I mean, you're a fantastic student. Um, how do you balance that, especially at a place like Stevens? Um, how, how do you continually dominate uh, both in the pool and then you know, excel in the classroom? Um, talk about that for a second. It is a real balancing act. You've got to manage your time well. You gotta just make sure that even when you're you're tired, it's not just the time in the pool that, that kills you. It's when you're working out over 20 hours a week. Even when you're out of the pool, it's all I want to do is eat and sleep. <laughs> you know, I've got homework I gotta get done. I got papers I've gotta write. You just gotta make sure you are getting enough to eat and you're getting enough to sleep to stay healthy, and still spending enough time on your studies to to stay up to date. Um. I was, an, I was an academic All-American my freshman year. The last two years I was disqualified from that because I had co-op terms, oh, so I wasn't taking classes um, both semesters. Swim, yeah, a, a swimming, uh, collegiate swimming, um, All-American. Um, his, his freshman year, I believe you even did get co-sided academic All-District, which, which is slight, slightly different um, yeah, as a sophomore. Um, but, you know, I mean, the, the accolades just keep coming, and hopefully uh, they continue. This year, Adam and I, I mean, thank you for joining me. Fans, if you want to catch the Stevens swimming team in action, um, there's only one home duel this year, um, January 29th against SUNY New Paltz um, at the Devon Aquatic Center. That's going to be at 1 p.m. Um, and you'll be able to uh, get some see, see some promotions at stevensocks.com for that. Um, you know, after the new year, um, 
Evan, once again, thanks for joining me. Best of luck in the future. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to be headed to it, but you know, hopefully you guys get another victory in the Golden Bear Invitational um, this weekend. Um, fans, thanks for joining us. For all the latest on Stevens men's swimming, women's swimming, and the rest of Stevens athletics, visit www.stevenstocks.com.